right here these I'm going to move this over um, this is uh, a little side flaps and it opens up like this so that you can get seven small photos on here front and back okay so that means seven photos here seven photos here one or two here unless you put a pocket here and then you can get a ton and you can do a ton here too like you do five here seven to nine here 14 so minimum right now you've got 25 photos right there depending on how you do it whether you do flip up mats pockets whatever okay so this is just from one sheet of paper well you know the basis okay so close this up and again you can put photos here too if you want I just chose to put decoration okay so when I close this this flap I can actually make this a pocket you could if you wanted to and make this more like one and a half inches like our other pockets right here so that you could actually have more real estate and put maybe like up to five more photos in here so then you're increasing it to 30 photos okay so what's so great about this is if you notice this is the size of a lady's wallet and it fits great in our purses and it's like way nicer <laughs> than those little things we grew up with the little plastic sleeves to put our photos in and um, what's great about this is for instance I did this for my little boy he's four and when he turns 10 I'm not going to want to carry this around I'm going to want new stuff that's more his age and what this works is doubles as a mini album so when I'm done I can actually go set this on my mantle or on my coffee table or with my other photo albums and it's a nice little mini photo album that I can use for um, people to look through that uh, captures that time in his life so let's get started and we're going to make this today okay so what you're going to start needing is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper okay so um, take your scoreboard and you're going to score your paper at on one side you're going to score it at two and a half and nine and a quarter so we'll start with doing that on our sheet of paper right here okay if you do not have a scoreboard um, another upcycled way of doing this would be to take your paper trimmer and this is just one thing I say invest in now I do not have the one that's wider because they're more expensive I, this works just right for me and it seems it too expensive so if you do not have a scoreboard what you'll want to do is find the area where you need to do it we're at the two and a half in this instance and just use um, some scoring tool of some kind and just score it down in that groove you know lift your bar up okay so you actually do some of these I think um, Provocraft uh, actually has a scoring tool blade with it um, and I used to use that one but I like this one better the, the Fiskars so anyway so let's get started so on your 12 by 12 you need to score at two and a half okay I double score on here just because it's thick that's another thing really quick um, I'm using uh, the basil um, craft color because I'm going to do a travel one um, uh, I we just came back from vacation and so I wanted to do one that was about our travels in Florida so um, <clears throat> I'm using the craft color um, and you need your cardstock to actually be strong like the way medium weight to heavyweight like DCWVs or um, or basil okay and on this case I'm using basil so at two and a half and nine and a quarter nine and one quarter okay now turn your paper the other way okay the other direction one turn and now you want to score in four places you want to score at three and three quarters okay so do that twice three and three quarters inch four inch which is only one quarter farther okay so three and three quarters and four inches and then all the way down at eight inches eight inches and eight and one quarter inches okay all right now that we've done that let me put this out of the way and then we're going to fold in our outer score marks because if you notice we have uh, two inner score marks right in here and we will reinforce those but right now we're going to fold it the other one now let me introduce you to my bone folder um, yes it is a bunny rabbit <laughs> um, 
I just have never found the need to uh, invest in a bone folder. So um, I've chosen to use my four-year-old silverware. Um, it's from Zoo Pals, I think it is, from the grocery store where you get the kids' plastic silverware, and this is the butter knife. Um, they also have a beaver and a whale, so, you know, whatever you like. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold all our square marks right here. Reinforce all the outer score marks, okay? So let's do that real quick. All right. And it's okay if you reinforce the other ones too, the inner ones, but we're, I really want to get the, the main ones out so you can see them because we're going to be cutting the corners, those corner boxes off, okay? So it's really good if we can get those first. So, and this one wants to do the inner one on me. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Now, now that we have these all done, um, and you can see where they are, you are going to set this so that your paper has the longer, wider pieces facing you. Okay? You don't want it this way where it's the narrow ones facing you, you want where the longer ones are facing, the wider ones are facing you, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to cut with your scissors right here along the score mark up past the first score line to that second score line, okay? To that inner one, okay? So let's do that real quick. A lot of people like to use the, um, the little exacto uh, knife or the, the little blade things, and I, I'm i impatient, so I, I like to do it with my scissors. If you don't cut straight, I would say do it on your paper cutter, or um, go ahead and use the, um, here's my, <laughs> this is my knife that I use sometimes. Um, my husband got me that. <laughs> so, you're going to cut off each quarter so that, um, let me show you, I'm going to cut one more. And again, you want to cut that inner score mark right here. Okay. You just cut along. And what you're doing is you're cutting off those four corners so we can have our little book. Okay. And so what it'll look like is it'll be able to fold like that. Okay. So let me do a swap out and show you what we got. Here we go. This is the um, finished product. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to reinforce the second score mark that is right here. So what you do is you just flip it over and you're going to reinforce that second score mark that is one eighth of an inch and it will look like this when you're done. Okay. So that helps um, give you the thickness that you need for when you add your photos. Okay. All right. So. Now that we're done with this, um, I'm going to show you what uh, paper pack that I chose to use for my travel. Um, it's called the Travel Stack. It's by DCWV, and it's really cute. But what makes it even cuter is the price I got for it. It was at Marshalls for $3.99. If you, ladies, if you have not been there, I'm not one that likes Marshalls ever because I need things more organized. I'm just one of them people. So that store always frustrated me. But my mom loves that store and she went there and found that they started carrying this and just got me so excited because this is about 75% off of what you pay in the store, like at Michael's and other places. And you can't get 75% off. There's no coupon that's going to give you that much. So ladies, check them out. Okay. So I, uh, I love DCWB because it's really strong. And this is the premium stack, which means you're getting great quality paper. And it's the 8x8. Eight eight. So 8x8 eight eight stack is great for this because all you need for this is a 112x12 sheet of paper. So, um, and, well, two would be good because we're going to make those little fold outs or two 8.5x11s, okay? So, but I'll put all the instructions down in there or on my blog, okay? So now we want to cover the other side and I have already done this <laughs> and it cute it looks like luggage I love it let me show you it closes up like this and it looks like luggage and I love it it's so cute it just looks like I've got um, some luggage right here 
So I just flip it open and here's the back. So what I did is, and what you're gonna wanna do is ink your edges up. Find something that matches the paper that you're using. Um, I invested in this uh, Ink Essentials little um, uh, inking pad because I like that I can change these out. There is somebody on YouTube, and I'll try to put that down in the um, comments, that shows you how to make this yourself. And so be, be frugal. So I highly suggest you do that. I'm going to do whatever she does to make these pads because I don't want to spend any more money. I have to. Okay. So once you've covered this, remember, ink all your edges up and then put your paper down. And I just used brown. Um, I get these little uh, color box ones and I just use my thing on it and, and ink it up. Okay. So now that we've got this done, now we can work on the inside. Now, and I'm going to show you again on mine, when you flip it open, I have a pocket right here. So let's get started on this. And the first thing you want to do is put a base paper down. And remember, you want to measure. And if you want to leave a margin, um, well, a border, um, you can, you're going to want to leave one eighth. So that means you need to take one eighth and one eighth, which is a quarter, off of the measurement that you get here and the same this way. Okay, so um, I have got something already ready. And so go ahead and measure your first, um, at your top of your thing, right here. Uh, measure at the top, and you're going to, um, this should be, uh, I think I cut mine at three and a half by six and a half, okay? So just always measure yours. Don't don't go by my measurements. Go by yours, okay? So I've got right here my paper. And again, we want to ink the edges so it just looks finished. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, just grab your, I'm going to fold it over like this. And I'm not going to do it, you know, super in depth. I need more ink. I can tell I'm about to run out. I think brown is my favorite next to sand beige um, and black. <laughs> I've got all these other colors and I hardly use, use them because I just love these. this one. So I like to just, I'm not one that likes a lot of inking because I, I'm a little more like of the OCD where I like things really clean and stuff. Okay, right here you're going to want to fold back your, um, your little edge on your uh, score mark. I'm not going to do as much here because we're going to be putting a, a pocket there. All right. So now that I'm done, I'm going to adhere this. Um, and again, on this one, I don't really like to use um, um, glue. Um, I'd rather use this. So I'm going to put this down first. Um, you can just use your whatever you choose to use. I also like that ThermaWeb. I'll show you that in a second. Um, the thermal web tape for when I'm not using my ATG and when you go to props it's nice and small too so you can use that. Here's a thermal web. Um, it's a pink little cute thing. They're really nice too. Okay so I'm gonna put this down. I chose to leave a border so and that's why I did the inking the way I did. So let's put that down. Oops. Okay. All right, so that's done. All right, now let's add our uh, pocket. Okay, now if your paper, that your decorative paper is not real strong, you're gonna wanna reinforce this with a piece of cardstock. So just cut a cardstock strip the same size and just glue, uh, adhere this on top of that and then you can do this. Okay, so for this we're going to use the um, Scotch uh, Quick Dry Adhesive. Uh, this stuff, there's nothing going to, this thing is so strong. I love it. Okay. The reason you're not using adhesive is because if you put the adhesive here, when you put um, your uh, photo mat in there, it's going to stick every time to that ATG tape, to that, that adhesive, the sticky adhesive right here, because it's always fresh. With glue, it's going to dry and you'll be able to get it in and out easily. So you only want to do it on the um, right, left, and the bottom. Okay, and just do about a sixteenth uh, bead of glue, not not real wide. Just go along because you don't need much, and this stuff is really strong. 
So, excuse me, I gotta get a needle. I always keep a needle handy because these seem to clog. No matter what you do, I've tried everything, holding, having them stored upside down, caps on, caps off. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. All right, so pull this. I think I have to do the weather too. All right, so now we're just gonna line that up with your paper. I'm gonna go a little bit lower than my paper so it's closer to that. Uh, do uh, you don't want to be on your um, full score mark, you want to be just above it. Okay. All right, so there we go, and that's done. Just like that. And then you can cut um, some of your decorative paper and make a photo mat. And your photo mat, mine is um, six and a quarter um, by, no, sorry, six inches by three and a quarter. Okay, so it'll just fit down in there. I'm not going to do it right now because that, that glue is trying to dry. But um, it'll, just fit inside there okay and that's where your pictures go and I chose to do mine to match because we went to the beach and I just thought that would be cute okay so now that part is done and we get to move on let's go to the center um, again you want to notice that you have that uh, folded area so let's ink that real quick and use whatever you want that's going to match your paper or you know the whole thing that you've got going and this one you do want to um do all the sides because they'll be showing okay so let me fold this over sorry I appreciate you being patient with me as this is my first time teaching on a video um, and I appreciate your patience um, sorry my ink was not cooperating and again fold back that that uh, little scored area you'll be lining it up with that first the inner score mark like I said I'm not a big person for inking I do know it really enhances things really well but again I'm just I'm one that doesn't like to over embellish um, doesn't like a lot of florals or things um, and my mom's just the opposite she loves all those florals I'm just a little more conservative I think I like things okay so good enough <laughs> All right, so now let's apply tape to this and let's put it on there. And again, remember to measure. Um, in the case of my center mat, um, mine, my thing measures four, uh, six and three quarters by four, and I wanted to leave an eighth inch margin around, so that's a quarter taken off this way and a quarter this way. So my measurement became three and three quarters by six and a half. Okay, so yours may be the same, maybe not, but mine was three and three quarters by six and a half. Okay, so let me. <clears throat> I like to make sure this one, because people are going to be in and out, uh, looking at this one a lot, put a little more tape on that one. Okay, so. And remember, if you have directional paper like I'm using, this is Word, so it's going one way, make sure that your paper is going the right direction the way your mat is okay. okay so there we go now it's ready for photos or a pocket I, I think I am gonna put a pocket there because man I can get a lot more pictures in there man okay now let's move on to the bottom okay in the bottom area um, I used a um, I did the flaps this is where we're going to <clears throat> sorry use the the waterfall effect flaps and you can put a pocket there if you would like okay so let's first put our um, our mat down measure your um, your uh, your mat both directions and remember if you want to edge and we need to ink it so let me I'm only going to ink um, the top because I think that's the main part that's going to be showing um, I might do the bottom too because I might not put a pocket. I'm not sure yet. When in doubt, ink it all, right? <laughs> so, 
So I have a four-year-old and a 17-year-old. Um, my 17-year-old da is a daughter. She's a senior in high school. And my son is four, uh, almost four and a half. She's 17 and a half. And um, he's adopted from Guatemala. And um, that's what I made that little um, uh, wallet ninny for him. And then I have another one for my daughter that I'm going to show you. Okay, I've got this upside down. Sorry. Okay, so we're ready now to put this paper on. And I've chosen this paper. So I'm going to put it down. Now, here's something different I'm doing down here. Because I'm making the flaps that are going to go over this, I've chosen to keep the length, uh, the width, exactly the same. I did not trim off an uh, eighth inch on each side um, because it's going to be covering over it. And so I'm going to match this up centered because I did take an eighth inch off at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to adhere that down real quick. <coughs> Ooh, squeaky. Sorry. I think everybody's are squeaky. We need some WD-40 in them. I don't know. I'll have to have my husband look at it. Okie doke. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so if you want to, you could actually ink the, the edges of the paper. I just, again, I like that clean look, so I won't be doing that. But feel free. I mean, I, I think some of y'all are so gorgeous. And I just wish I could do things the same way as some other people do, but I just, I just don't seem to do it the same. Okay, so remember I'm matching edge to edge because um, we're going all the way to edge, but I'm centering it this direction. Okay, so now your bottom mat is done. Now we're going to make the, <coughs> the um, excuse me, I've had a sore throat. Um, we're going to make the, um, the, sorry, I had to turn off my fan. It was drying me out. Uh, the waterfall. Um, flaps. One is going to be smaller than the other, so um, you're going to need to have two different measurements. And again, you're going to have to measure yours. Uh, you can go by my measurements, but it may not be exact. So here's what you need to do for that, okay? What you'll need to do is your first measurement will be from the bottom here up to the top here of your paper, okay? Um, it should be below, uh, like a sixteenth below the um, score, second, the outer score line. <clears throat> and um, what you need to do is use that measurement and then add one quarter inch. Because your quarter inch is the little flap that you're going to um, fold under. And I'll show you right here. See, this is the flap and this is the little quarter inch. And so it'll go like, you know this fold it over like this okay all right so my first one I cut at four and one eight by six and three quarters okay so you'll need to cut your first one at four and one eighth and six and three quarters then your second one is cut at three and three quarters and six and three quarters. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna check and see which ones these are. This is my six and three quarter by four and eight. Okay, so on this one, I need to get my scoreboard out or whatever you have to score with, and I'm gonna score one quarter inch. Boy, I'm having trouble there. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do one quarter inch. So. And, and pay attention to the direction of your paper. My paper is going one direction, so I need to make sure that I scored in the right place because if I scored it here, it would be upside down. So I'm going to score it one quarter inch. Okay. All right, so that's scored right there. And then this is my second one, the three and three quarters by six and three quarters. Yours may be the same, it may be different. Just make sure you measure twice, cut once, 
sometimes I have to cut two and three times. <laughs> so I mess up. Okay. So I'm all done with that. Put that up and get out my bunny bone folder. <laughs> you know, we're all upcycled here. <laughs> Use what you got and save your money. You know, because you want these beautiful papers and, and you, you, you know, unless you're printing them digitally, and again, that's going to cost ink, it's just you want to put your money in the paper and the embellishments, so you need to save money where you can. So, okay, um, this is now where I have my two flaps ready, but if you notice, I don't have a double-sided paper here, so I really need to um, do a uh, another mat on there. So before I go any further, I'm going to do that. And I have cut uh, two pieces that will cover it. Um, one is at three and seven eighths by six and three fourths. And that goes on my larger one. And the other one I cut at three and a half by six and three quarters. Okay. So um, you can uh, go ahead and hear them. I'm not going to take the time to do that now. I'll just we'll just get this done. All right now. Score tape. <clears throat> this is the other thing that you need. Um, some people you like to use the red tape. That's fine. This is uh, Recollections uh, by uh, Michaels. It's their brand of red tape, <clears throat> and um, it's a it's a good tape. I just love the score tape. Um, I think because I can tear it if I want really easily, and that film that's on this red film that covers this. It's got static in it, and it sticks to your hands and everything else, and it takes forever to get it off. Uh, so, um, I like to use this. So, what we're going to do, and this is quarter-inch score tape, and I sell it on my website at Upcycle Scrapbooking. Um, my daughter lived for uh, three years with um, chronic headaches. She had five headaches, all different kinds and different scales of pain. Uh, for three years and uh, we went through a lot of medicines and treatments and all of them failed and um, oh, I almost forgot to do this other one and um, it, it was hard because she couldn't she's homeschooled always been homeschooled and she loves to read and she could no longer read anymore so homeschool was having to do a lot of things orally um, she couldn't do anything more than 10 minutes at a time you know so I had to start doing things to help raise money to pay help pay the medical bills. So, if you need some score tape, I have a really great price on my website. It's really competitive. My quarter inch rolls are, I think, four fifty a roll, and um, <clears throat> my half inch, I want to say, are six and six dollars and twenty five cents. So, just you know, go check it out and order. And if I don't have any stock, you can pre order it, and we can get as many as you need. And the holidays come, you might want to do that. I know I go through my score tape. So, all right, let's get started. All right, you have two different sizes, the smaller one and the bigger one. I like to put the smaller one down first. So let's remove, um, and by the way, make sure you have reinforced your score mark, okay? Pull your score tape cover off. Fold your thing over. You're going to line up at the very bottom of your page there your flap because you want it to cover up the whole thing so I kind of like hold it down right there fold this under and then just adhere it down just like that look at me yay we've got our little flap another thing I did on all of mine um for my little boy I don't know if you noticed but all the um the corners are um rounded I just use um <laughs> This tells you how long I've been scrapbooking because I have a Creative Memories corner rounder. Um, so I just rounded all the edges of mine. I think it gives it a nice softer look and I also feel like it's less chance of with a lot of heavy wear and tear of the corners tearing. So I'll go back and do that on this one as well. Okay, so we've got our first flap down, yay! So now we're gonna do our second flap. And again, you're going to um, remove this score tape Make sure that you've already reinforced that that fold. Okay. <clears throat> I apologize for my throat. <laughs> okay, so 
this is going to be the same way. Remember, this is longer. So again, you're going to line it up over the top to the very bottom of your flap. And then just do the same thing when you adhere it down. And it should fall. Let me turn this around because that's hard to see upside down because I'm doing this upside down. Um, this should all line up with um, right below your score line. Sorry, this is really harder to do upside down. So, I mean, yeah, there we go. Okay, sorry, that took me a second. Okay, and if you look, I still got just a sixteenth of an inch from that, uh, from that score line. So we're good. So take, I took the same paper um, that I made the base out of, um, the craft basil, and um, you don't have to if you notice. In this one, I chose to use a coordinating cardstock color. So you can do whatever you would like. Um, sorry, I had to use a cough drop. My throat was getting dry. Okay, so you will cut your strip um, to 10 inches by 3 and 7 eighths. But remember, you want to measure this and make sure because your measurements could be different than mine. Okay? So um, having said that, mine is 10 inches by three and seven eighths and then we're going to score it we're going to score at two and a half five inches and seven and a half okay two and a half five inches and seven and a half then you're going to fold it accordion style okay like this all right now to know which way to put it on here you want the folded edge on the outside and the um, this edge on the inside near the um, near the uh, score line sorry I'm just fumbling there for a second okay now I like to um, add a little um, I call it chomped out <laughs> uh, half circle and I've done that with my um, EK success one inch punch but any one inch punch will do or whatever size you may want it really big you may not want to do that at all, but I like it because when it's laying down here, you want to be able to pick it up easily, whatever. You may choose to put a hole in there, maybe put some decorative ribbon, and people can pull it like a little tag. That would be cute. A little tab on there would be cute. I'm dying to get one of those little tab punches, but I haven't been able to find them. So if you guys know where they are, let me know. You can put that in the comments. Okay, so for this one, you want to find the halfway mark on your, um, on your paper. And use your punch now if you look on my punch I have um, marked the halfway point on from both directions so that I can make half circles okay so I've marked mine somewhere oh here this end <laughs> okay and so I'm gonna line it up and I'm only gonna do about a quarter of the way instead of half Ooh, there we go okay all right so now I'm going to adhere this with glue. The reason I use the glue is because when that stuff is on, this quick dry glue is on there, nothing pulls that sucker up. It is so strong and it dries really fast. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that my glue is not clogged because it, when it goes, it goes fast. So let me just pop this in there real quick. I just use a needle again, upcycle scrapbooking. Okay, so. Let's put this along here and you don't want to be thick but you don't want to be stingy okay because you, you want to make sure this really adheres down well and doesn't clog up and my glue is obviously squeaky okay remember the folded edge goes on the outside and I line it up with the outside edge not the inside fold okay okay there we go and again you don't have to use the same color paper you can use something that coordinates you can now if you don't want to get a 12 by 12 sheet of paper you can just get eight and a half because the the longest you need this is 10 inches unless you choose to go longer but you're not going to get but two more inches so it, it really it's just because with a 12 by 12 so it's just better getting half okay so that's it now you can mat these if you want with your coordinating paper i choose not to because I'm actually going to put photos on here so it would just be a waste of paper for me because I'm probably going to take up the whole um, 
area because it's a small area. Um, these are, let's see, oops, I want stickers on my thing. These are three and seven eighths by two and a half. So you can get a two and a half by three and a half picture at least on there. And that's great. Okay. And so remember seven photos on this side, seven on this side pocket. I think I'm going to put another pocket here and that's going to be able to put several pictures. If you notice if I was to, if I was just a mom that didn't have time more than just to make this, let's say you made this as a gift for somebody and they're not a scrapbooking type person. They don't have to be just the wallet size photos. They can trim them to go right on there. See, look at that. All I have to do is trim off that edge and it goes in there. Perfect. Okay. Or they can just stick them in the pocket. But what's cool is it gives them something way more decorative. Now you can also fit on here. Let me measure this for you. Um, whoops, wrong side. Okay. You can definitely get your four by, uh, well, not quite four, sorry, three and three quarters. Okay. So not quite a four by six would fit here. You could do a three by five or you could trim out a four by six smaller so that if they want to do one photo here or again, put a pocket and put several of them in there. Okay. So, um, and I think usually at the print like CVS and them, they trim them shorter than four by six anyways. Okay. So again, right here, if you'll notice now, remember, I'm going to put a photo mat on here on mine like this. Okay. But you still have this little strip that's showing. All you have to do is cut a coordinating piece of paper or use this and cut it longer so that it covers all the way down on that folded flap area right here all the way to the top. And then it's covered up. No biggie. Okay? So then it's perfect. And then you're done. That is all you have to do. So let's close this up. I'm going to close this up this way. And then this goes this way. And tuck in my little pictures. And it goes this way. And look, it's all done. And I love this because it looks like a little suitcase. Um, now, um, the other thing that you can do, and I highly recommend this, put clear contact paper on this. I put clear contact paper on mine. And this is what it looks like. It comes like... Um, this is duck brand, uh, clear laminate is what it's called. I get it at Walmart and the roll is like this thick, you know, it's like this thick, this, look how much I've used already. And this has been, I've had this for a year. So you get your money's worth and this is only like five bucks. Okay. So, um, just, you're just going to cut it. You're just going to pull out a piece and you want to cover this front and back. And you do want to go over this edge because with a lot of wear and tear, it could start, you know, tearing and you don't want that to happen. So that's what's so great about this clear contact. It helps when people are in and out of your pocketbook and it just gets, you know, it, it's going to handle the wear and tear. And I can tell you that because mine has, I have the clear, um, laminate on it. I matted it first, then I put the clear laminate on. Then I decorate it with the embellishments just to give it to more 3D and like it felt um, more scrapbooked. I didn't want to put it under the laminate because I wanted people to be able to see and feel the thickers that I put on there and some of the elements, okay? So those are on top, okay? And But I did it on the back. Now, I didn't do it on this part, but you may want to. It's all up to you. It just reduces the, the wear and tear, okay? So now let me show you what I did for my daughter. I told you my daughter is um, 17 years old, 17 and a half, gonna, she's a senior, and I wanted to make something for her um, because she's always going out with her friends at the mall and her youth group and everything, and I wanted something that was more girly, and if you notice, the size is different on this one. It's different dimensions, but still a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, okay? I used the authentic paper on this one, and this is laminate, laminated here. The only thing I might do different is I would you could put a magnet here or Velcro or use, um, I used a ribbon, but I would probably use elastic ribbon 
so it's easier to just stretch it over it okay and if you notice I allowed for her especially you know how teenagers are um, an eighth inch of um, space I think I did a little more than an eighth uh, for her to load it up okay so let's look at it hers is a little smaller and um, cuz girls you know their purse is a little smaller and I made her some photo mats flip down and look at her little waterfall book I love it hers has got three you can add as many waterfalls pages photo mats as you want that'll fit there and then here is her little flip out for her to add her photos and you know how the girls are I think I'm gonna add her another pocket right there because um, you just you know how girls are and they're and and going out with their girlfriends and stuff and they love looking through each other's purses and their photos and seeing themselves <laughs> and so this is a great gift so um, I will put up um, a um, kit that a uh, tutorial that tells you the dimensions on this as well so you'll have this wallet mini that we just made you'll have those um, measurements and instructions and then this alternative one that you can make okay so um, remember that um, you can get score tape at my website um, I think the quarter inch is 450 and the half inch is 625 and I do flat rate shipping in the US because it's you can put so many of these rolls in there for that price so that works really really well don't forget you want to get your clear laminate at Walmart also um, if you need um, uh, ATG tape, um, I have a lady on my website that you uh, will want to get it from. Her name is Betty BettyBrett.blogspot.com. The link is on my right hand side of my um, blog in the sidebar. And it, um, uh, it also it has um, uh, um, ATG tape. I mean really 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 expensive it works great I, I use it I keep buying it from her she's the sweetest lady then there's another lady uh, that sells um, um, chipboard and she sells it really really inexpensively and again I love to support other uh, scrapbookers and families versus having to buy from major companies so you know get out there and, and support one another because we're all doing this for our families um, but if you go to my um, blog at upcycledscrapbooking.blogspot.com, uh, you will see um, I have on the sidebar a link to purchase her, um, her, uh, her, her ATG tape. Sorry, I'm stumbling. And her, um, uh, her um, and Wanda's whimsicalwonders.blogspot.com has the um, chipboard. Here's my address. So if you need to pause it and see this, um, it's upcycled scrapbooking. Again, I love to do things as cheap as possible. Remember, you can always save money by you know saving your um, cereal boxes and and um, using things that come in the mail to embellish with and um, again don't forget where you can get your bone folders at any grocery store <laughs> it's my little bunny bone folder um, so um, thank you for watching I hope you enjoy this project and and I really hope to hear from you in the comments below and on my blog and and share with me the ones you've made remember this is an awesome uh, gift for people I'm making one for a friend that's getting married tomorrow I'm making one for her so that she has one to match the wedding album I made her uh, so that she has one in her wallet to show off her wedding photos in a fun way and then it turns into a little mini album for her when she's done carrying them around she can put it on her coffee table she can put it on her shelf with her other photo albums and it becomes a little mini album and that's what makes it so great uh, it was inexpensive but it's a great gift it's really great for those people in your life that do not scrapbook um, but always admire the things that you can make make this for them show them how they can just print out stick them stick their things on there uh, give them an acid free glue stick and 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 this gift um this is a great christmas gift you can do a, a, a halloween version a christmas version wedding baby uh, if you got any people that are going to have some babies um I, I mean and like i said this is for a teenager um your teenagers this is great for them 
and gifts for all their girlfriends or maybe have a party where they make these so um, let me hear from you and I, I thank you and I hope you'll come and visit me more and if you wouldn't mind subscribing uh, below and um, let me know where uh, your link to your blog is so I can follow you as well thank you and God bless